What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Uh, it's time for another On The Bench with Pete. So what am I going to do today? I'm going to be working on my Zombicide figures again. Got to get the Toxic City Ball guys painted. And then on to the zombies. So without further ado, let's see if we can zoom in a bit here. So we're going to rid the world of unpainted miniatures. Uh, first, I got to get my brushes sorted out here. I've got a little tiny bit of a move about here. So, blah blah blah. Right. So she's done. Okay. Eyes. Hmm. Although this is essentially me talking to myself, I may even talk to myself in a more isolated manner at times as my thoughts just ramble. So what do we think? A fist on red for the eyes. Seems good to me. Now I've done some of my zombivores with the toxic shading that they give you in the uh, the Zombicide painting kit which is a kind of purpley colour I wanted to do a sort of greeny colour for some of the others as well oh, so we've got a street cleaner outside kinds of these brush caps coming up um, right so fine detail brush So we're looking at the eyes, so I'm really not going to water them down. So just dots essentially. Right, I'm just gonna work out where I need to be. Yeah, okay. Sometimes I can do eyes, sometimes I can't. Sometimes I like to just do them as um, on zombies. Blood coming out the eye socket suits me fine. Anybody else for eyes? Ned can have some actually. Glasses. Yep, done them okay, so they're alright, they're done. Some people are easier than others to do with the eyes with. Uh, so, what am I going to talk about? I've got a couple of things on my list. Yep, yeah, she's good. Okay, Amy. Tell you had some eyes. The ghoul, right? My brush is a little bit skewed if there, not really that much. Try again. And, uh, Derek, give me some eyes. 
silly. Hey, I'm doing really all right. Good, excellent. So. Red. So, what do I want to talk about? Well, first thing on my list of things to mention is Adepticon, Gen Con, and other conventions. Now, as you've seen on my videos, I have done or been to. Let's just get in a bit closer there. Uh, I have uh, been to certain places, conventions. I went to a good one uh, earlier this year. Um, I was just watching um, Jay's Adepticon shenanigans on his vlogs. I mean, it looked really amazing. Uh, you know, that's something I would really want to do at some point. Is go there. I'm just looking. Now, where is my green shade? I've got loads of stuff. Hanging around here. Coella Green Shade. Oh, yeah, there's another zombie here to do. I think dies, I'll do him later. Just the, the Josh figure. Right. Coella Green Shade. Thinking of doing that on. Get his name now. Um, I've got a character card for him. Don't think I have. Not, not to hand anyway. Um, the office guy, Chappy. Forget his name, but a bit of, a bit of green shading on there. I think just on his skin. Yeah, I'd really like to go to those conventions, you know. So, uh, might have to save up one year and go over there and take part and meet people. Well, I like meeting people over here, but that would just be an awesome experience. Really would. Yeah, I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. Yeah, quite like that. I mean, how do I can remember his name? This Coella Green Shade looking good. I think I'll do the same to the Amy's on before, whilst I'm at it. shades there so yeah so easily going off topic here yeah conventions there must be some cool conventions um, here in the UK that I can go to and I want to document them you know so hopefully I can build up a collection of convention videos 
that way it gives an idea of what to expect when you go to these things. At some point I want to go to Warhammer World. But uh, they're a bit uh, hotter on um, a bit more strict on filming and stuff. I, mean, I think you can film your games, but uh, not much else. Yeah. All right. Quite liking the Coella green shade on these toxic zombies. Well, dog's getting this on the mend. He had one of those lampshade things around his head for quite a while. Uh, he seems alright to have that off now, so at least he's got some relief there. So I think that was really getting to him. Well, it would, wouldn't it? You've got an eye that's really itchy and needs scratching, and you can't scratch it. That would drive anyone insane. Careful on this bit because his skin is done. I haven't done the other stuff that overlaps it, which is jackets and so on. So, yeah. Hmm. I think the weather is shockingly bad, even for England. So we're supposed to be in summertime now, and uh, so yeah, what's that about, eh? I don't know. Absolutely shocking. Hopefully, the weather will start to get better now. Get a few more days doing stuff outdoors. Thinking of doing a a walking walk and talk vlog, like a walk and chill. On the, if I'm feeling up to it. So yeah, I'll do that. That would be cool. Oh, I've done my um, I've put together my toxicrine and harpies. Well, my harpy. So. Uh, Starting to paint them up as well. All these things on the go here, look. Right. Okay. What else have I been up to then? Sorry, I'm not talking very much. I'm not, not, even doing, not doing an awful lot here, am I? Maybe I can help send you to sleep if you're having a sleepless night. I'll do a late night ramble sometime. I can think better at night time. Okay. Shader, here we are. That's the one I'm using for the others. 
Little prints. Purple. So there's going to be purple. Let me get these trousers done. That's going to be the hard thing. But yeah, you can have purple. Purple toxic skin. As soon as I can get these done up, the sooner I can uh, crack on with the uh, zombies. They shouldn't take that long, not that many of them. And batch painting is a lot easier. The more you do it, the easier it gets, right? At least that's the uh, plan. I'll try and work out what colour to do his trousers because I can't remember what I did last time. <laughs> so that'll be interesting. Alright, now I think. Oh no. You won't have to do her. You can be purpley as well. Let's do her hair, yeah. These are toxic zombies. Um. If you kill them in the same zone, they give you a wound due to their, I don't know, toxic blood, I suppose, splattering all over you. Uh, I'm trying to get my bolt action tank done as well for the paint off competition. Not that I've deluded myself that I'm gonna win or anything. It's, uh, I've seen I've seen the competition. <laughs> I'm just doing it for really the main reason is forcing me to get the damn thing done. Um, yeah. I've got the other decals in the end. See I got I did that that side focus on that, yeah, there you go. I also did the other side now, so that's cool, got that done. Oh, I'm waiting for the tracks to dry on the tank. Oh, let's try and work out what ah, colours I'm doing. Right, well I know I'm going to do the Dayglow Yellow. Uh, Demon Kin Codex is looking interesting. I've got some uh, blood letters to uh, assemble and paint later on. When I get them, I have some birthday money, so that's what I got with it. Blood letters of corn. So, we start to use some more demon stuff. That's cool. It does encourage me to use it. I've got an announcement, though. It's kind of an announcement to make, though. I've kind of. I've fallen victim to the. victim to the uh, War Machine Hordes lure. I, I have been lured in. I've got my first uh, starter set on its way. Hmm, this is tricky. What's going on there? Hmm. Let's have a look at his other 
Jack at the moment. Sorry about this guy, it's just uh, trying to get some fine lines done here, some really fine lines. Okay. Yes, I've always. But the thing about war machine and hordes. Yes, I've ordered myself a, a hordes army because I want to get into that, and I'll be doing some painting like that. By the way, do you guys prefer me more zoomed out or more zoomed in on what I'm doing here? Kind of a sort of right balance of what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, I've always been put off in the past by the fact there was always metal or resin for the war machine in it. I don't like working with either of those. But now they do the plastic kits. Yeah, I'm in. I'll give it a go. Definitely. Seems good to me. So, yeah. Alright, now. What I'm waiting for his jacket to dry. Do the normal zombie shader on him, I think. I can't for the life of me work out or remember what he was called. It's gonna bug me that. See, you'll see that I've recommended uh, Gaming with the Cooler this week as uh, YouTube channel of the week. I was watching one of his videos and he just he sat there. Uh, well, he's about to start painting. He, he says, "Hope you're not looking for a painting tutorial because this is not it." I, you know, and this is the same here. You know, there's not really painting tutorials going on here not with these guys. I was trying to work out what. I think hmm. I don't know. I'll try a bit of a dry brush with album sunset I might screw this up completely because I'm just guessing with the colours here. So, yeah, this is all a bit of an experimental video anyway, the whole camera setup and I, I don't know whether you can hear me very well or not, I don't know. Small dry brush, there we go. See, something tells me this isn't the way I did it last time. But, we'll have to find out.
the case then you know I've got to got to got to say well okay how did he change his trousers he could have changed his trousers in the course of his uh, zombicide career can he can I get away with them being near enough I don't know don't know honestly I don't know Honestly, I don't know. We'll try. They've become a lot more torn, these uh, Nerds trousers, since, uh, since he was uh, in the last season. So he's obviously seen a lot of action here. Shirt was done in. Don't know if that's corn red or my fist on red. Not sure. Hmm. I think I might get away with this. Let's put another shade on the top of it work out of what So, so the Horde's army, I've, all, I've ordered by the way, is the Legions of Everblight. So, I just shut this down and get on to uh, something else. Yeah, the Legions of Everblight. So, I will be looking to paint them in kind of frosty blue colours. And I may do some experimentation on my lizard men. For that, I don't know. Maybe possible. We'll see. And, uh, shutting my computer down. Right. Okay. So, what do we think? Corn red for his jacket. Yes, I think corn red. And this is the kind of I think it is. Right. Get rid of that. A bit of water. Jacket is what we're working on. Okay. I always said I wasn't going to do War Machine, too tactical, uh, too tactical, no fun. Everybody's just in it for the winning, blah blah blah. Then, having spoken to a player, um, basically, kind of gave me the impression that you know, it's not all about winning. It's, 
but having fun too, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this might be a brush that's on its last legs. Yeah, it's not, you can have fun with it too, you know, so. Uh, and the club I belong to. Legion of Everplight is the only faction that nobody plays, so hopefully, once I get them up, get them up and painted, raring to go, I shouldn't be short of players wanting to play me. At least that's the plan. end of the day for me it's about meeting people socializing with people and uh, having fun a good time you know it doesn't seem as easy to do that with 40k at the moment and I think I will change that if I can get my man cave built place so we can all go congregate play games have a good time but I can have tables set up permanently I think it will be popular you know but it's not gonna be a quick thing though not a quick project by any means no, it's not. Once it's done, it's done. So you can't really afford to move, but uh, next best thing, you know. I see. Uh, see, Jay uh, is talking about doing the tip jar thing on YouTube. I know it's got um, the warp, it's a paid channel, I mean, I've looked into that, I've looked at it, I've had a look at what's on it, um, although it's not a lot of money, um, my favourite series he does actually does on the free, uh, his free channel, so, which is paid along with Jay, so uh, there's nothing on there really that I want pay for so um, I think you'll do better off with a tip jar they don't do that in this country at the moment they're still trialing it I don't like the I well I don't like the idea of some people do Kickstarters and uh, Indiegogo things like that basically just begging you for money and I, and I, I've never liked that idea but a tip jar if, you, if that's what it is if somebody wants to give me some money so yeah you did good here I've, I've of a dollar or whatever. Yeah, why not? I'm all for that. Somebody wants to tip me? Yeah, oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much, sir. But, uh, hmm, I've got to do his hair now. What colour? Oh, damn colour is that? He's got Rhinox hide on his jacket. Darn shoes. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. What am I going to do? This is a good reason why I didn't call it paint along with Pete, because I'm not doing a lot of painting, am I? Uh, could do the washers on the trousers there. works the area is becoming more and more cluttered. Yeah brushes see melodies. Uh, ironically one of my nice one of the brushes I like starter brushes I like is uh, 
when I got it, it was kind of snapped in the post. Uh, that's the way it is. Oh, I'll zoom out for a bit. Do this. Dragon off from my cheek. On the jeans. So, yeah. Yeah, life's pretty good, you know. I've been asked if I would do a, a video on MS and so on, as you may have seen. Uh, I'll be doing that at some point. Don't know when, though. That'll just be a one-off video, you know. So, and I'll say at the start, you know, if this isn't this isn't what you were looking for, then please just don't watch it. Go someplace else. Or watch one of my other videos. I'm just happy for people to watch my videos, you know. Right. Okay. I'll probably do things in completely wrong order when I paint, but hey. You live and learn, don't you? I've always learned by the hard way doing things. Learn the hard way. It's a way that you tend to not to forget then. Yeah. I might actually end it soon because uh, I'm running out of things to say, not that I've said a lot. Too boring, yes. No, that's not, not that it isn't boring now, but yeah, so don't get too boring. I'm Captain Sicarius, so I might do a bit of red on him. I've got some corn red there already. Right, so. Captain Sigaris, a bit of a, a change. Just doing the, the plumage on his helmet here. This is me all over, chop and change. Painted a 40k model now. Yeah. Sorry, I've gone all silent. I do that sometimes. I just space out. You could do that amongst the company too. I don't mean to be rude. Hear the telly being played downstairs, quite loud. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stop this ceiling. Once I've 
Once I've done this helmet here, and I'm happy with it, I'll stop this video. It's kind of boring on the bench this time. Sorry about that. Uh, I, I'm always continually playing around with formats and experimenting with things, you know. What's better, what's worse. Uh -huh. So I've got to do the gold around it, but uh, yeah, oh, that's <laughs> yeah, typical of me. Yeah, that'll do. All good. Right, okay then. So, in our quest to rid the world of unpainted miniatures, I haven't rid the world of that many. But hey, you know, I hope you uh, have more luck with your painting than I'm having with mine. Because it seems like I'm going to have, I'm a go slow here. Sometimes I can go quite fast, you know. Other times I just uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I think planning is the key when you're doing these videos. <laughs> plan out what you're going to be doing, have it all laid out as well and have a few topics that you want to talk about, always helps it's my half track here, yeah. totally random and off topic I'm doing that one, I don't know why I mentioned it even, anyway yeah, so till next time guys, stay healthy and happy painting and happy gaming